Good morning, everyone. It's Jenny with Talk To Me Tuesday. I hope everyone had a wonderful week this uh, past week. Um, I did get quite a bit done this week. Uh, it's also been extremely busy at work, um, beginning a term kind of stuff, but I've still been managing to get things done. Thought I'd take my video in front of my media center. Uh, you know, we I just got my room up and going, and and uh, this behind me is my media center. I have two monitors and I have my computer here in the middle and then I have a small little gaming system for my grandbabies and you know uh, things like that. I have Netflix set up on this TV and then this right here is actually my monitor for the computer but I have them all tied together uh, so that I can use uh, the computer on both monitors, but then I can also use this monitor and watch Netflix on this monitor. Anyways, it's uh, it, it's really really cool. Um, my husband bought this computer for me a few years ago. We actually just bought all the parts, and then I took it to school and I had my students uh, put it together for me, and it was a good classroom project. Uh, them being able to build the computer. Um, I do think the motherboard's going bad on it because um, I can't use EQ8 on it. Every time I try to use it, it does it. It can't handle the graphics. But that's a uh, that's a whole nother world. That's a whole nother world that I belong to. So, anyways, um, but my media center and then here is my cutting table. I haven't quite got my cutting mats squared away yet. They're a little bit too wide. Um, and not quite long enough to take up the whole space on the cutting table. So I'm trying to debate whether I want to buy the, a really big one and then cut it down to fit. I haven't completely decided on that yet, um, it, but it is something that I'm, I'm uh, actively working on. Um, so, anyways, one of the, uh, well, I kind of went a different route this uh, past week. I have a chair in my living room that basically my dog sits on, a uh, sweater, she sits on that chair and I like to keep a quilt over it um, because of the fact that she sits on it all the time. And here a few weeks ago I noticed that when she goes to sit down in the chair she like needs my quilts and makes it all right just for her and then she'll just lay down. And I tried not to let it bother me. I, I really did, but in the end, every time I would see her needing my quilt, I, I, I could just imagine one of her uh, nails pulling a thread out. And this is the, the quilt that she was kneading on. And it's not my all-time favorite quilt. But it is one that I put a whole bunch of work into, and I mean, I love the quilt, but it's not necessarily one of my favorite ones, um, but the idea, every time she would go and knead, uh, I don't know, I would just like cringe, um, expecting one of the seams to come out, so I went online and I just bought a pre-made quilt, um, to put on the chair for her to sit on and then if she does uh, end up ripping one of the one of the scenes out or something then I haven't personally invested a whole bunch of time into it and it looks like a quilt but um, it wasn't pieced you know it was just a it's just a printed printed piece that has been quilted so I feel better now and it actually looks really nice on the chair and I'm going to add a picture to the end of her sleeping on the chair um, but uh, it, it was really kind of bothering me that she was kneading on my blanket that you know I felt like it took me months to make and um, so now she has a nice comfy cover on the chair and one that I can just toss into the washer when I need to. Probably going to be buying another one so that we can rotate it out. Um, but she's happy. I'm happy. So, we're good. Um, see, one of the other things I was working on this week is 
last year I bought these, uh, and they're like cots for my grandbabies to sleep on when they come over. And it is a bunk bed. It's called Kiddo Bunk, I believe is what it's called. But it's um, uh, bunk beds that we can break down, you know, completely, put into these little bags. They don't take up make much space at all. And then when they come over, we just put these little uh, kiddo bunks together and um, that's what they sleep on when they come over and that way that it's not taking up so much space. Well, over this last weekend, their blankets became just such an issue that, you know, they were falling off of the beds and um, they were, uh, anyways, it became a really hassle. So after Friday night, I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix that. I'm going to do something about that. So Saturday, just real quickly, I put together, um, they like to have a blanket up underneath them and a blanket over them. So I made blankets to go up underneath them that actually fit the cot itself. I didn't do anything special. It was, it was really just straight stitching. But the first one, I just used a just used a, um, a panel and then I put a big wide piece on top and a big wide piece on the bottom and then I put little ties on the bottom and the top four ties all the way around so that I could actually tie it to the frame of the bunk bed and uh, Saturday it worked out really really well um, I didn't even I used flannel for the batting I didn't use any anything really heavy because this I knew this was going to go up underneath them so this was the first one I made for one of the bunks the Guardians of the Galaxy the next one that I made was the Black Panther I ended up liking them so much, you know, I, I, like I said, I, it wasn't anything spectacular, just, um, but um, it turned out, it worked out so well that I've decided to also make top blankets for them too, just a little bit wider, and then only putting the ties on the bottoms of the blankets, and, you know, that way there's not this, um, Argument and them sliding off of the off the little kiddo bunks and and uh, stuff like that. I've, I will also add a picture at the end uh, of the kiddo bunk. It, it's really handy when the grandbabies come over. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space, and it's really cool. Um, so they seemed very happy with it because it only took me a few hours to make them up. And they were sleeping on them Saturday night, and um, but then after I looked at it, I was like, I need to, I need to make top ones too, and then then blankets for that will be done, and I should be able to actually put the blankets into the case that the that the bed goes into when we break it all down. So um, I'll probably I'll have that done before they come up the next time. They usually come up, you know, every four to six weeks and spend the whole weekend and um, but anyways that that's what I was working on I've also been continuing working on my shiny quilt uh, the one that I'm using uh, all, all glitters and as much glitter and metallic fabrics that I can use in it it's still in testing phase so I can't show you my design wall but out of all of the patterns, I'm about halfway there, and uh, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty accomplished on that end. And um, anyways, that's what I've been working on, and um, I will see y'all next week, and I hope y'all have a wonderfully crafty week, and y'all have a good week.